Massive manhunt for a suspected serial killer on the loose in Florida. <clears throat> Police hoping to speak with a person in this surveillance video after three people were shot to death in Tampa. ABC's Victor Okendo is there, and Victor, it's understandable that the community is on edge this morning. Good morning. Absolutely, and good morning, Robin. Police asking us once again to come to the station this morning. They did not want us in that neighborhood overnight. Tampa's mayor doing what he can to reassure the public, saying that they've added a thousand streetlights to the Seminole Heights neighborhood and that they won't stop until that killer is caught. We will hunt this son of a bitch down until we find him. Overnight, Tampa police on the hunt for a killer after the shooting deaths of three people in 10 days. Nobody comes into our house and does this. Not now, not ever. Authorities pouring over this grainy surveillance video for clues, looking at this person of interest walking alone, wearing a hood on the night of the first killing, not releasing much information about evidence, but insisting the killings are connected and asking the community for help. What we need you to do is pay attention to what's going on in your neighborhood. Everybody at this point is a suspect. If you're out there walking alone, that you're either a suspect or a potential victim. The three victims gunned down less than half a mile apart. Two, Benjamin Mitchell and Anthony Naiboa, killed near bus stops. The third victim, Monica Hoffa, was walking to a friend's home, her body discovered in an empty lot. America's Most Wanted host, John Walsh, spent 25 years chasing down fugitives. He's caught 1,400 and knows firsthand what it takes to apprehend a suspect. We always so solve these things when the public gets involved. Walsh says he sees similarities between these shootings to the D.C. sniper shootings. John Allen Muhammad and Lee Boyd Malvo killing 10 people and critically wounding three others in a three-week period. Why this killer reminds me of the Beltway sniper and the D.C. serial killer is that it seems to be a person who comes out at night to kill. It's someone who is killing for the thrill of it. And with Halloween just days away, we're told that the plans are in place. There will be a huge police presence. Adults are being asked to accompany their children. But we should note this killer doesn't go after people in groups, but people who are alone. Robin? Keep that in mind, Victor. Okay, let's bring in Lindy DePaul, former chief inspector with the U.S. Marshal Service, and our chief legal analyst, Dan Abrams. Good to talk to you both about right. this. Lindy, you have a lot of experience here. Of course, you were involved in the manhunt and the D.C. sniper. So what are investigators in Tampa looking, focusing on right now? Well, right now, Robin, it's a pretty chaotic scene, as you can imagine. I mean, there's been three, uh, three people that have been killed in the past two weeks. Uh, they're, they're knocking on doors, q and a and people. It's all about collection, bringing in that human intelligence, signal intelligence, looking at CCTV, if there's any videos on the block, uh, surveillance cameras in people's homes and whatnot. Uh, they're, they're certainly the squads are knocking on doors, Q&A, and cultivating their confidential informants. The streets like to talk. So uh, uh, with a $25,000 reward out there, uh, yeah, might get some intel that way. Okay, uh, well, what we see going on here, and, and, and of course the community is on edge, but authorities are confident that there's a link here. Yeah, and, and so they've got to balance something, which is they've got to balance neighborhood awareness with investigative integrity. That's what they called it. Meaning they want people to know, uh, and yet they don't want to give away too much. Um, and they've got to balance those two things. So I don't think we know everything that they know. But here's what we do know. Uh, we do know the time uh, of when it happened. We do know the consistent connection to buses. Um, we know who the victims were. And um, my guess is that they are looking, for example, for a connection to something with buses. A former employee, for example. They'd be looking at why are they targeting bus riders? Um, is it totally random? Maybe. Uh, but that's going to be something they're looking at. And I promise you there is something else that they have that they're not disclosing because what they want to do is they want to prevent the crackpots who all call in right, in right. these high profile cases and say oh I know something about this and they want to they want to narrow it down to say wait a sec how did this person know that detail yeah. that person really must know something yeah Lenny knows Correct. this all, yeah, all yeah. too well and not only that it seems like it's, it's more of a run and gun it's not an armed robbery he's, it's, it's, it's close they're, they're, he's not spending any or she's not spending any time with their victims uh, it's, it's run and gun um, what's that all about they're being ambushed is this person on the bus is he following them um, you know it's, it's the million dollar questions right now hopefully law enforcement is all over this uh, and, and has the answers uh, to these questions but uh, right now they're chasing a ghost and that video that they have is critical I mean, you know, we, we've seen the surveillance video. We don't know that this person's connected, right? But the fact that they have a video like this that they're releasing and they're saying, hey, we'd like to talk to this person at the very least, 
That's a really big clue, and this comes from the first incident. So they've had this out there now for some time and haven't been able to get a definitive link yet. Right? Tough, uh, it's a, such a tough spot, what Dan was alluding to, because as the public, you want as much information as possible, but as officers, you, you got to hold something back. You have to. I mean, it's unfortunate you can't be that transparent, you know, right now. Uh, I mean, residents in the area, they're sleeping with one eye open. They're scared to death. Uh, keep your lights on. Keep your dog out, out back, whatever. If you see something, say something obviously uh, but they can't get too much out there because they don't you know it's a juggling act right now they're trying to put that puzzle together connect the dots and they don't want any interference if you will uh, at this point well, hopefully they'll be able to connect those dots really soon all right lenny dan thanks so much